Hey guys, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today I will be reviewing the latest release by Long Island Watches, the Islander ISL 38, also known as the Islander Just. So like I said earlier, this is the latest release by Mark over at Long Island Watch. And, you know, for the last year and a half, we've been accustomed to sports watches from him mostly, right? Uh, initially, it was a lot of the divers, heavily influenced by the uh, SKX. He experimented with dial variations, uh, bezel insert variations, and then he uh, released a couple of pilot watches, field watches, um, pseudo dress watches. And, and now he's come out with, with the dress watch. And uh, we can obviously tell... What has influenced Mark here? Uh, there's no bones about it. This is heavily influenced by the uh, Rolex Datejust. So let's get right into the specs. Let me zoom into that dial. We have a, four, a 38 millimeter case diameter, 44 and a half millimeter lug to lug, 11 millimeter case thickness, and you have a flat sapphire crystal here with AR coating, 20 millimeter lug width, and you have this stainless steel Jubilee bracelet with a mix of polished, uh, links in the middle and brushed at the ends, starting off at 20 and going down to 16 up to the clasp. Uh, you, these are screw down links here, uh, tiny, tiny screws. He does include, if you buy from him, uh, a screwdriver, which is very, very helpful. You have this uh, milled stainless steel clasp, uh, double push down deployment, fold over for nice security, three uh, micro adjusts and you know, I, I think the, the clasp is the right size for um, the bracelet and the aesthetic he's looking. He's got this uh, very nice Jubilee bracelet and, you know, you don't want to ruin the flow of it by putting this huge big um, clasp on it. So this is just the right size in my opinion. Um, let's look at this case back. Now, this is powered by the Miyota. Uh, 9015, which is a 28,800 beat per hour movement, 24 joules, 42 hour power reserve. And so this is an interesting choice. It, it, it marks a, no pun intended, it marks a step up, I think, um, from his previous releases. He's been heavily um, um, leveraged on the NH35 and 36. And now um, he stepped up a little bit here with the Miyota 9015, which I consider a step up. Um, and it's probably why he's able to keep this case so uh, thin, um, because it is a thinner automatic movement. So good on him uh, for stepping up the movement. Uh, it's, it marks a, uh, a commitment uh, by him uh, to, to try to put out a, a pretty good product. And, and, I, and I believe he does. So let's get right into the... Uh, dial here, you have this sunburst, beautiful sunburst blue dial. You have the uh, hour indices, the stick hour indices, double stick on top, applied super luminova uh, on the indices as well as the hour and the minute hands. And you, there is no, uh, there's no doubt, you know, that those hour and minute hands, wh what they look like. They look like straight out of the Rolex Explorer. I mean, uh, Rolex uh, Datejust. Uh, you do have a raised um, symbol there for the Islander and automatic as opposed to being printed on the dial like previous models, uh, which is a nice, um, nicely done. It gives a, a little bit of a sense of sophistication. I, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, the chapter ring has the uh, hash marks for, for the minutes as well. And it looks like everything lines up perfectly fine. <laughs> date window at the three o'clock. Now this is a hundred, hundred meter resistant, uh, water resistant watch and it, the, the crown does, uh, screw down. So, uh, and it's nicely knurled and you do have it signed with the long Island Islander symbol there. Uh, you unscrew the crown here. And then the first position is the whiny position. Second position is the day change position. And the third position is obviously you can change the time. The bezel is fluted um, and it will play nicely with the light. Another um, uh, nice touch um, makes the watch feel more sophisticated and, and more expensive than it is. And this, this watch does retail at $359, uh, $349, I, 
I, uh, I'm sorry. Um, it weighs in. I weighed it earlier around 112 grams is what I got. Now I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. And so I will zoom out and show you guys what it looks like on wrist. And it really sits perfect. This is a, a very good size for me, especially for a dress watch, dress watch, 38 millimeter case diameter, 44 and a half millimeter lug to lug. Uh, 11 millimeter case thickness. Again, I know I'm repeating those numbers, but I like to repeat those numbers um, when I have this watch on wrist to give you guys an idea. So this watch will fit not only wrists my size at six and three quarters, but all the way down to maybe six and a quarter, I would recommend. And as high as seven and, and seven and a quarter. I mean, this the sizing of this is in between the, the, the Datejust 36 and, and 41. Um, so if you had tried on those watches and you feel like one is either too small and the other one is just a little too big, this may fit the sweet spot here. Now, like I said, this is MSRP for 349 and it is it, what it is. You know, it's, I don't know if you're going to call it a copy or an homage. I don't know if it really actually matters to you. It certainly doesn't matter to me because it's a good looking watch. And for somebody who is looking for a nice, affordable dress watch um, with a great blue dial like this one, I mean, he does offer a black dial with a smooth bezel and a um, gray with a sunburst dial and a fluted bezel as well. So you do have a couple options and maybe down the road, he'll add a few other dial and bezel combination options. I, I hope he will because I think he'll have a good market for it. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for an affordable watch, dress watch that punches a little bit more than its weight and just looks great, looks more <laughs> expensive than it actually is, then this may be the watch for you. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this watch. Please put a comment below and I will see you guys in the next video.